Yeah. Hey everyone, Kevin here from Missouri Clark Fly. So we just found this big black snake tonight and I'm gonna use my little snake stick that I got here to catch him, hopefully. First attempt didn't go so good. Oh, you got him. There we go. He's a big one. Oh, he's a little angry too. Yeah, he's ready to do some biting. Don't it won't zoom. Don't zoom. Yeah, how you doing? That's a pretty good sized snake. Wow. Yeah. So I made this snake stick several years ago and it worked really good about catching snakes and this guy here my guess is probably trying to get up in the tree to get a hold of some of our birds let me get a close-up shot of him hey dude <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty good size a pretty belly this is a black rat snake We never, we never harm the non-poisonous snakes. These take care of rodents and all kinds of other stuff that they really need to feed on. So anyway, from Missouri Clark Life, I just wanted to show you guys what our snakes look like around here. Okay, so we're gonna take him, I think down this wood pile down here and let him loose. And actually, I don't know if it's a him or a her, but anyway, we're not going to harm it. We're just going to take it down here to the wood pile where there might be some mice and stuff like that that it can feed on. And this should be pretty good. Are you getting a good full picture of everything? Yep. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna let this character loose and let it go somewhere, maybe hunt some mice. And off he goes. From Missouri Clark Life, be safe, be strong, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey everyone, Kevin here from Missouri Clark Life. So earlier we caught a black snake and I think there's a second one to come up because this one looks a whole lot longer. So I'm going to see if I can catch this one too. Oh yeah, this one I think is bigger. Well, it's the same one. He came back awful fast. I don't know. This well, may be know. the same snake we just caught a little while ago, but the other snake that I caught earlier, we let loose down there by the wood pile. Um, this one seems to be maybe a little bit bigger. What do you think, Miss Kitty? I, I don't know. The Actually, the belly, I think, on this one looks a little darker. Oh, it is. 
Oh, good call. Because <laughs> I think between the male and the female, they have different colored bellies. Oh. So we can go back on that video yeah. and see the difference. But I honestly think this is a different snake. Yeah, you're right. That belly's totally different color. Well, so that's probably how you distinguish the male and female from each other. See the top of a tail. There you go. One close up. Hello. But yeah, this snake here is quite a bit bigger than the one we just caught. And obviously the belly's a lot different color. The belly on the other one was more light. So, if this is a male and female, then they were probably tracking each other's scent. So I'm gonna take this one right down there where we left the other one loose and maybe they can hook up and make babies. So all us down and we'll like this one loose too. Two snakes in one night though, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Within what, about 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes. <laughs> You're gonna have to splice these. That's fine. Put it back on. Okay. <laughs> I had a little glitch on the camera there. Oops. So I pushed stick, the button. <laughs> stick with us, we'll have it done. <laughs> there we go. Okay, go follow your buddy. That's pretty cool, everybody. We got two snakes in one night. It's obvious they were separate snakes because of the different colors of the belly. So maybe this one will get the scent of the one we just let go and they'll hook up and see about making some black rat snake babies. So from Missouri Clark Life, be safe, be strong. We'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.